Bud, congratulations on your induction into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. I've got a few questions I want to ask you about your background. Okay. I'd like to start off with uh, what individual has had the greatest influence on your coaching career or on wrestling in general? Who? I think uh, probably the two individuals that had the greatest influence with me it was uh, Henry Stone, who used to be the coach at Livingston High School. He was my predecessor. And then after I started coaching, uh, Leroy Evans was a tremendous mentor for me in those days. Leroy was at Houston, Houston. or Turlock? He was at Houston then. Mm -hmm. Who is or was your idol? Oh, I would have to say uh, two wrestlers that I followed over the years was Dan Gable and Bobby Douglas. Mm -hmm. They were two. the two that I followed the most, yes. How did you get started in wrestling? Well, when I came to uh, uh, Livingston High School in 1965, I, um, I was teaching there, and I think it was in 67 or somewhere right in there in the mid-60s, that Henry Stone, who was the coach there at the time, asked me if I would assist him, and I said, well, I will do it for one year. I didn't want to do it at all, and because I had a heavy academic teaching load, and I said, oh, I will do it for one year. Uh, so I went out and helped Henry out with what little I could, and uh, one thing led to another, and, and uh, I stayed in coaching and officiating for 37 years. What do you attribute your success in wrestling to? Uh, in the coaching or the wrestling? See, I, I didn't I didn't wrestle. I was not a wrestler. Coaching. Uh, yeah, my high school was a very small high school in Iowa that had no no wrestling program. Oh my gosh! And uh, but as far as the coaching, um, well, I was persistent. And I wasn't too proud to ask for help wherever I could get it. I consulted. Uh, I did a lot of reviewing of films. Uh, uh, I consulted a lot of high school and college coaches. Uh, uh, I read a lot. I used every resource I could to, um, to enable me to do what I did. You know. What was your teaching discipline? Your academic discipline? I was a biology chemistry major. Oh, okay. Is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have? Involving wrestling or coaching? Yeah, when I when I was coaching, I think when we uh, uh, we were when I was at Livingston, we were a small high school. We were maybe five hundred students, and and <clears throat> I had some good teams in the seventies. But in nineteen seventy four, I had an exceptional team, and we wrestled at Clovis High School and beat them in a dual match that year. And for uh, that was before Clovis had split, and Clovis was all of their students were at that one high school, and so they were a very large high school, and we were a very small high school, and we beat them in a dual match, and and that was probably the highlight. That's great. And looking back, is a coach. Is there any one match that really stands out in your mind? You may have already answered that. Yeah, I think that would be the one uh, with the one against uh, Clovis uh, against Clovis High School. Yes. Uh, I don't know if this is appropriate, but how did you decide to become a coach? I mean, it, well, it's, it sort of just happened by invitation. Yeah, it, it kind of happened, and uh, and a little bit of a story behind it. Very make it very short. In that, uh, uh, when I saw that uh, at coaching at Livingston High School, uh, the program that was there, they weren't getting a lot of wrestlers out, and I thought we need something to really get it going. So I started the kids program in the little feeder schools. And I believe it was the first kids program in the valley. It was that was back in the '60s, and uh, and we were getting uh, anywhere at the high school level from 20 to 25 kids off of wrestling. And and uh, so then when I took over the program, at Henry's insistent, he just insisted that I take the program, and I didn't feel I was qualified for it. But he told me to take it. We start getting each year anywhere from 60 to 80 wrestlers up in wow. in a program. So. Uh, I mean, so that feeder program. That feeder program really made the difference, yes. If you were to start all over again, what would you do differently as a coach? Or would you do anything differently? Uh, 
You know, um, I, I given that a lot of thought. Um, I put about everything I had into it. I think maybe uh, uh, if I had to do over again, I would concentrate a little more on that feeder program in the junior high years, uh, in that middle school right in through there. I think that's where the, the effort is really needed. And, and a lot of them in the smaller school districts, they don't have a, uh, a, you know, a middle school program. And I think I'd put a little more effort down at that level. But uh, as far as the high school, I think I gave it pretty much all I had <laughs> in those years. It's got to be a good feeling. And we had some good teams during those years. What would you like people to remember about you? Um, oh, that's a tough one. I, I think as, an, uh, as a coach, um, um, I, I think I would like for people to think that I always demanded uh, uh, that, people, that the kids put out everything they had. And I think the, most of the kids who went through my program uh, <clears throat> were well disciplined. And uh, um, I just would like them to remember me as going through a good organized program. And I tried to keep it that way. As an official, um, I tried to always be fair and as official. There was a week went by I didn't study the rule book and the case book and, and reflect in my mind back on, on different calls and things that I had seen being made and so on. And I, I tried to keep up with it. And, uh, I always tried never to be partial in officiating a match, and uh, sometimes that's very difficult to do, but that was, I hope I'm remembered for not being partial in any match. How has uh, wrestling contributed to your life? Oh, um, it has given me a much fuller life. You know, I look back at the wrestlers I had, and I'm proud of what they did, how they went on, became tremendous successes, uh, a lot of them wrestling on the college level. And, you know, that, uh, that gives you a great deal of pride uh, when you see that, and when you have some of your wrestlers that, that come back and tell you how much they appreciated what you did for them at the high school level. That's very fulfilling. Well, Bud, congratulations again. Thank you for all your contributions to wrestling. Thank you.